a uh, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn uh, website, folks. It's Kendall with LawnBot here. I uh, wanted to come to you and discuss our uh, Measure It technology. Um, this is a new feature that we added to LawnBot uh, based on our clients' feedback. And I wanted to take you through um, some new features that we released into it. So uh, based on client feedback, people that actually use the software, um, we've gotten a lot of good feedback from folks talking about uh, improvements we can make to it, but then also leveraging technology to ensure that um, we are getting the most accurate measurements possible. And then we have some exciting stuff down the pipeline of actually um, maybe even getting rid of the part where they need to color it in with their finger and the computer will color it in and then the client can approve it or adjust it. So um, super exciting stuff. Uh, Eric has been working on this. He still is working on this. Um, so I thought I'd just take you through, um, you know, we just rolled this feature out to all of our lawn bots that utilize uh, measure it. So I thought I'd show you just kind of how it works. Um, so um, the client uh, inside of LawnBot, inside the chat experience, they lock the map. Um, so the client would lock the map at this point and then you can see this cool little gif that you know shows them exactly what to do um, and then click next and then boom wrong right and correct uh, so that they can see visually like what what is expected of them to color in um, so we try to get super clear to the customers and the leads that hey you know you need to color it in um, we call it a blob uh, not circle it. Uh, so we're actually using um, computer uh, vision to um, look at the image in real time and then see if it's a blob or a circle. And it sounds super simple, but um, it's quite uh, quite in depth on the back end. So we'll start estimating here. Um, let's say I just draw a little line, like 128 square feet. Yeah, Kendall, come out and do my lawn. We'll click save and boom. Like measure it, understands that um, what you drew is not accurate. And it's going to say, oops, your estimate doesn't look right. Uh, this is what it's supposed to look like. And we have a disclaimer at the bottom that says, we will only service areas that are colored in and not just outlined. Your colored in image is saved and we will only service colored in areas in the picture. So we try to be very clear. Like we've learned a lot. We're moving really quickly with this product. Um, you know, we've had people just like, even despite all the pictures, despite all the instructions, they just draw a big circle uh, on the picture. Not sure why. Um, this, we just added this computer vision. It's really making the, the world a difference. And, um, you know, we're seeing about 80 to 90 percent of, of images and drawings are that are correct. And of course, there's still some wrong ones coming through. You're never going to be 100 percent perfect. But um you know, we designed LawnBot to kind of speak to the majority anyway. Uh, is it going to be right and correct 100% of the time? No, it's not. But um, it allows you to sell your services instantly online. And I, I think the the one-off circumstances where people might circle an area, um, get past the computer vision, are very rare and very limited. Um, so we just haven't had an issue with that. Uh, you know, people that uh, a lot of people are always worried about, like cheating the system. Um, that just hasn't happened. And usually clients are just thrilled to be able to sign up easily because most lawn care companies make it super hard. Um, so they're thrilled to just uh, be able to sign up and, and become a customer easily. And this is the way it should be. I mean, we live in 2020, right? Like this technology exists. And, and, and I don't know why nobody's brought it to the marketplace yet. And now LawnBot is. We're making it happen. We're making buying home services easily. So let's click on continue coloring. And I'll, I'll do like a real, um, you know, measurement here. Look, you make the brush size bigger, you know, so you're not taking forever to do it. The reason why we didn't use points and lines, a lot of people ask that. Like, oh, well, like what about like Google Maps with the points and the lines? That's great for somebody who like, measures lawns all day or is in the green industry or uses that type of technology all the time. Uh, but for your average homeowner, uh, we wanted to make something that was very easy, and very intuitive to use. And you'll see here, if I click save, that 
that that's a successful um, measure. So the, the computer vision understood that, hey, this is a good measurement, approved it, and then they can go on to get pricing, uh, which is kind of fun. So uh, let's just, let's just um, delete the measurement. We'll, uh, we'll unlock the map. And let's see if we can go into another part of town here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, okay, let's zoom in here. This is uh, Sable Ridge in Kentwood. Then they have to confirm and you know look at the example. Oh yeah, <laughs> hey hey Kendall, come out and do my lawn. It's 188 square feet, right? Um, we'll click save. Boom. Oops, does this estimate look right to you? Uh, we only service areas that are colored in the field. If you happen to be on the stream, uh, feel free to drop a comment if you have any questions. So I'll probably be on this for another minute, minute and a half, but really trying to build our YouTube um, content. So we get a lot of the same questions. So uh, as you can see, uh, they, oops, this assessment look right to you? So it makes them confirm again. Um, and that this answer to this question is also safe. And beyond that, each chat conversation is also recorded. Um, so if, if we ever did get into a situation where a customer was disputing that, uh, oh, well, you know, like I, I didn't know, right? Well, no, you did, and here's the recording for it. So um, we don't have to, we've never had to like, issue a recording to, to a company, but we have the ability to. Um, so we'll continue coloring, and uh, I'll just do this kind of quick. So get around the shed there, the back patio, John Payjack in the house, hope you're doing well. Um, and again, you know, is this the most scalpel precision measuring tool? No, it's not meant to be. This is meant to be, well, really, we designed it to be used on mobile devices. It is a great desktop experience as well. Um, but when you're on a mobile phone, which 60 to 70% of our chats happen on a phone, um, you can't do the points and lines. It's not a good user experience from a UI, UX standpoint. So you can see here, just measure 9,000 square feet. Uh, I'm very familiar with this neighborhood here. It's just a few streets over. And um, I can tell you that's uh, it's pretty darn close. And, you know, I actually owned a lawn care company in the past. I would be tickled uh, if somebody signed up with this measuring tool. I didn't have to talk to them. They already prepaid. They said, come out here and do it. After they signed up, they would say, hey, I have a locked gate. Um, I have pets and kids. Do you have an uh, in-ground sprinkler system? Do you have an invisible dog fence? So they answer all those questions, um, and I'll actually show you an example sale here. Uh, let's see. So here's an example sale email. Um, let's see if we go full screen. Yeah. That's probably better. Okay, so um, this is uh, for a bot in uh, Colorado, lawn doctor out in Colorado. There, um, you can see that. Hey, shows what they bought. Do you have a locked gate? Notification method. Um, so we try to be very exact um, and give our companies as much data as possible. Uh, so it's it's really exciting. But the point of this video was to just show you the computer vision um, and kind of what we foresee the future. Um, what's cool about these blobs is these blobs are actually just bits and bytes of data. And we're going to be able to use each of those blobs. So each of your customer's measurement is going to help our product get better. And it is because those images are saved, uh, all the blobs and the pictures. Um, so we're, at, we're actively working on making the best online buying experience for the green industry. But really, I mean, we've had people in concrete reach out, people in parking. I guess they do like uh, uh, parking lot paving. Um you know, I, I, I believe it can be used in any scenario. You think about snow plowing, right? Like um, now, now you can sell snow and you probably could have already just by zip code, you know, you could come up with some kind of pricing algorithm. Um, but, you know, hey, like color in your driveway and your sidewalks. Like, you know, we try to make it as easy as possible that Grandma Karen could <laughs> sign up for service. And understand it too. It's not some hard, complex thing. We're talking about lawn care and 
you know, property services. This isn't uh, triple bypass surgery, right? So, um, look, it, a thousand square feet of sidewalk and driveway here. I need treated. Oh, forgot this little part by the house. Yeah, I want that cleared too. It's 1,100 square feet. We applied against your price table. Hey, Mrs. Jones, it's going to be, um, I don't know, 40 bucks a plow or whatever it is, whatever you charge. So, um, just wanted to come in and show you this computer vision that we, uh, this feature that we added. And um, we, we, we just got a few questions about, well, what if they, you know, under measure by 1200 square feet or over measure by 1200 square feet? You know, we, we just really haven't had an issue with that. Most people that are buying this way understand it and it's, it's been really successful so far. Um, it's pretty easy to understand, right? Like you color in. Uh, exactly where you want serviced. So most people are able to kind of get it. Um, what's really exciting though is um, down in, uh, see even there, I, I just colored in the back and the computer vision picked it up. He's like, oops, like, hey, Kendall, you only colored in the back. Are you sure you want just the back done? So they just click submit estimate at that point or they can continue coloring and you know finish the front. But um, what's really cool about this is, is in the South, uh, down in Georgia, they have different turf types between the front and the backyard. So this is another unforeseen positive about all this is, you know, when we used to use the Zillow measurements, we were taking lot size and applying a reduction percentage, which works, worked fine. Had lots of success with that. Um, we're always looking at how can we make it better though. And now uh, LawnBot's close rate in percentages going up because clients can truly, you know, if they just want the front and the sides, just color in the front and the sides. And oh, by the way, this image is saved. So you have exactly that they measured 1700 square feet. Clearly they just want the front and the sides because that picture would be in the, the sale or lead email. Um, and you know, if you have real green systems, we're working on getting it piped in right into your diagram docs uh, tab. So that's, that's another plus side there um, with the integration that we have. So hope everybody's doing well. Wanted to show you our computer vision and image recognition. I think it's going to be a game changer. Uh, it already has been, but um, we're going to continue making this better and better and better. And with each image and drawing, our computer model is getting better and smarter. And um, yeah, pretty fun times here at LawnBot, but making lots of sales. And the, the weather is heating up right now. So we're anticipating a large, large weekend for sales. So I hope everybody's doing great and uh, is having a great season. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Kendall with Lawn Bot.